Welcome everybody, here's your strategy wolf and welcome back to Strategic Command American Civil War. Welcome back to our 37th turn of um, our blue and grey match versus El Can I Destroy the rematch. We're playing the Union side and should be end of um, May 1863 or beginning of June. And things are looking really really good for us at this point. Uh, we marched into Atlanta and we're the troops of General Grant actually burned the city down, which was obviously a very sad event. In the meantime, in Italy, things went wild and Italians stormed Rome, causing a war with the French. So international situation is quite tense at the moment. However, our troops were so successful since we're descending from the Appalachians and marching into Virginia and Georgia. So they, we hopefully can earn uh, the turn, turn or end the war very soon. Um, depending on the enemy's actions, especially like taking Richmond should be within reach, let's say, in the next couple of turns. We shall see how quickly this is possible, and yeah. Let's watch the replay together and see what we can do to speed up the process. Okay, Wicksburg getting reinforcements. Oh, here's the enemy monitor hunting our gunboat. But it survived, nice. Ooh, counterattack this. Okay, they prepared for... Retaliating, and there, oh, <laughs> there the core marched into an ambush by our core. That's hefty. Yeah, the one unit lost, but Richmond in a precarious situation. And yeah, the ironclad is going to for our <laughs> trap, if you want so, because we were re repairing ours up north in Chesapeake Bay. So good to see. You. Here the enemy trying to escape from Arkansas. Oh, here the cavalry really hits us surprisingly hard. Yeah. Partially desperate moves by the enemy's river fleet. Yeah, I mean, uh, the counterattack pretty impre- oh, not impre- but yeah. The enemy got too greedy again. <laughs> First she saw the problems, but then she basically the entire new core by the enemy was run down when ambushed by our core and lost from 10 to 1. Wow. However, we lost two divisions. Not too, yeah, too small, but yeah, still. French mobilization reaches 30%. Whoop, what happened? Is the CSA now relying heavily on the French or what? Last time I, when I checked, due to the events with Rome and so forth, I, I, went, I went for the risky way, but it looked like as um, the French were at 30% just diplomatic, right? Doesn't mean they were mobilized very quickly. Uh, France, yeah, okay. It's just mobilization equals basically this. I uh, wasn't 100% sure. This is no problem at all. Worst case, we can actually get some um, diplomacy chip, chits in there. Yeah, here. I mean, this is... This, this core, he the second core ran into this ambush. This was pretty hard for the enemy. <laughs> and to be honest, I see quite... With this counter-offensive and this very hurt and not tacked up division just standing in between Richmond and us, makes me very optimistic that we can take out Richmond. And I don't know what the enemy is doing over here. Again, having Beauregard, like, and probably one of the remaining HQs in the front line. Yeah. I mean... This won't change the course now anymore that heavily, but yeah, I'm quite surprised about that one. What else is, do we have to say? Ah, oh, yeah, the ironclad up here. Um, wanted to tech up ours, of course, but can we bring in some? Yeah, it, he's, she's not really harassing me that much with that one. So maybe I'm taking the time to actually get the extra equipment in while trapping them somehow. Maybe I'm going to risk bringing in this frigate or something to blocking them off so they can't easily get out. This might be an option. This might be an absolute uh, path we could take. The meantime, what did we see over here? Uh, yeah, Wicksburg. Do we have a... Ch oh, oh no! Oh, damn it! The misclick. Lucky for us, actually. Uh, pro projections were way worse. Okay, seems like Wicksburg. We need heavier stuff to really take them down. Or like ship support or something. We shall see. Um, 
Anything else major? Actually, not really. There was no... <laughs> the, the, the theaters have been reduced basically or mainly to here. Of course, there's other fronts. Yeah, but this makes me kind of optimistic that we can come keep on going. I hear this. I'm happy that this... Um, our gunboat survived. Just need to bring it out uh, somehow sneakily so the enemy can't find us immediately. Otherwise, it will die. But if it dies, it dies. And yeah, over here... Well, over here where we are in south in New Mexico, um, New Mexico, yeah. Um, okay, this this enemy unit starved over here, which is fine. Just get back here in this position, and things shall be good again. Um, so right, guys, I'm getting, taking a little bit of a closer look as always, and of course, I'm going to be back to present you the results in a second. So you'll be part of most of the action, apart from this. Tiny little misclick over here that happened already. One of the exceptions. So see you in a second, guys. All right, guys. Here we are and uh, back. And as always, we start in the very, very west, where um, yeah, we start to get basically Mr. Carlton here and clearing up the staffed out um, cavalry situation of the enemy, leaving us, guys. In the position where we can easily outmaneuver another um, enemy brigade over here. So the tide is slowly but steadily turning to our side over here. Um, talking about it, let's definitely not forget about our mountain division up here. That should be... Oh yeah. To Pueblo or to Fort Barclay. Let's, I think Fort Barclay would be wiser, right? It's Yeah, Pueblo is... Oh yeah, it's a death most definitely. So basically, l latest with this division, I'm very, very optimistic that we can actually go go and take El Paso, or or these swallowed words. Um, The rest is just waiting here in position. That's basically it. Uh, not too much to worry about right now. Great. Um, let's continue in Texas. First, let's try to sneak out our gunship, as mentioned. And, yeah. I don't want to have it too close to the coast, so the enemy can't see it. Here, it shouldn't see any raids. Depending where the monitor goes, if it will survive or not, if we can take it home, yeah. Our sailor, sailor's having a, a hard time here and there. Um, let's actually not start in Texas. Oh, yeah, the south front, the Texas, everything unifies slowly to one thing. These guys are definitely without any supply right now, which is good to see. Um, oh. Oh, gosh, that was a big mistake. Now we're gonna... Well, now they will not run into an ambush. Oh god damn, now they can take uh, Greenville and get their ammunition over here and the supplies over there. This was a mistake, however, it's okay. We will take them out over time. It will, at least they will have one more turn. So they lose probably one strength. Go to Greenville, have strength too, so we can take them out. Um, yeah, it should be fine. These guys take Paraclifta. Um, yeah, these guys run also into supplier less zones but we wanted to speed up the process that we can go through these swamps here and over here we can start thinking about how to attack over here we have to upgrade for sure i mean we've got to let's definitely encircle a little rock and maybe let's get rid of the ironclad over here these guys should be also without any supply, right? Yeah. I don't even know why I was so eager to encircle them, but now it has happened. Um, well, they didn't destroy them. Sad. <laughs> and then I should look up the siege rules once again. I think if I 
three uh, hex or a city is to run on three sides uh, or four sides and uh, definitely the supply goes down that's the reason why i wanted to take out the harbor or the ship here because i wanted to make sure this is not opened up by the, by the riverside um yeah we shall see it how it turns out exactly over here um I'm gonna take out this little attempt of retreat. Why Johnson is still in place um, and not retreating, I have no idea. Of course, providing some supply for these boys, but um, let's simply cut them off like this. Um, how far can we reinforce these ones? Yep, we will. Let's threaten their supply in the back. That should in the rear. That should be fine. Hit them harder, so oh, they can't escape that easily. Yeah, this should be no problem in the end. And over here, let's move. the south this ironclad attacks over here fine oh oh damn it i want to ah uh... yeah see i could have taken this out with the other ironclad i was a little bit too quick uh, but it is what it is and here we were very very quick in the beginning as well so And again, too quick, Wolf, but I'm, I'm getting too greedy with these. Um, I'm too secure already of myself, apparently. Uh, I mean, I doubt there is going to be another attack, but still, it's annoying. He wanted to go over here yeah, to support our uh, Alabama attack. Meridian, I don't really, ca I can't really attack. Maybe I should have brought in the other division that we s shuffled in uh, to the east. Maybe I should have. Yeah, I dedicated one more division here for Wicksburg, or a core even. Yeah, but maybe once we're done with these boys down here, maybe we'll bring them. Yeah. Um, let's see, let's see here. I wanted to avoid any more of these sneaky things that they... Ah, I can't fortify without supply. That was, We wanted to prevent any further sneak attacks. That's the idea over here. Let's... I mean, we wanted to use these these marines, but to be honest... Oh, man. To be honest, the landing is not that practical anymore, so actually I will... I think I'll march them up. And maybe this Marines will be the, 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 another division to take Wicksburg. Here I'm going to also bring in the connection and here the remaining unit. They ambush us for real? Yeah, but with the zero supply they should be dead very soon. You get the upgrade. So at least one Marine is uh, taking up. They will move here, then we move McLellan or somebody else here, it's fine. Shouldn't be a big deal. Um, here let's just... Oh! That's unexpected, okay. There's Texan Rangers down here. That's really... Okay, we should... That's interesting to know. So Markswell is not going to be easy one. Maybe we'll need the other McLellan and some... Yeah, first some, some ships also to take out the fort. Plus these Marines. And then, yeah, but I mean, pushing up here the uh, Red River is not necessarily necessary, so... Yeah, if not, it, it it won't happen. So, all good here on the western side of the Mississippi. However, let's get to the more uh, promising parts of our front. And partisans are here. We're controlling them. All right. Da, 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 da. This 
permanent in between uploading. It's probably helpful, but sometimes really annoying. So Montgomery is... Occupied. We'll need Howard and some reinforcements. So I think in the beginning it might be useful to just take... To take out here Anton Town. How do you call it? Uni Union Town. Not Anton. To take them out first might be quite helpful. Okay, there's another cat division. Wow. One, two, three. Minus two. We can't make it back to Selma. I really want to be back in Selma. Let's just occupy that one. Yeah, but I guess I was actually. I should have left both divisions maybe here and here. But yeah, it, and they will be effective anywhere. And the next ones go down here to support our Mississippi campaigns. Um, it's fine, I guess. Right, these boys, the trains are hunting the partisans. Yep, all good. Coming to Atlanta, that was shockingly burned uh, to all our surprise. Nobody thought that Grant would have been such a level. Such an aggressive man. However, um, it is what it is. Anybody able to take Madison? Milledgeville, Georgia. Is this the capital of Georgia? Never heard of this town before. Uh, because we took Atlanta, of course, it's the... Um, the exchange one. Alright, let's see. These guys can't hit them. It's important to take out these, these engineers. Nice. Just wanted to make sure no way to escape. Here we go. Engineers down. It should help us a lot. Um, Let's have Grant follow just over here. Alrighty, looking good. So, uh, with these troops, and I'm pretty sure there's almost nothing down here. Actually, Georgia is wide open to Grant's troops. Um, makes me kind of wonder where we should bring in the, the rail artillery. I think it can't really catch up, um, keep up with the pace anymore. But I'll have a look. I can rail move them too. Okay, so. Could bring them somewhere in position down here. But also, I could just. Well, it's flexible and fast. Where would you expect the next resistance? Maybe down here. We can't really bring them down. No, there's no connection. Guys, I, I don't want to... I'm saving up the MPPs for the moment, bringing them down here, so in case the enemy brings anybody into forces, that's bad luck. Um, worst case, we'll redirect them somewhere else, it's fine. Alright, over here, let's see. What can we do with these guys? Um, yeah, Christian Badge saw that the boys in Christianburg can take Taylor's will, so I'm definitely going to take that, since this should improve... Just this move our um, supply situation situation significantly. And with Gilbert, I'm going to go as far as possible. Let's bring the calf to the front so we have some reconnaissance. Yep. These boys here. Opening the street over here. Also some scouting involved. Very nice. Yeah, here you're going to close up this... Um, Gap. Hmm. 
really bad supply, unfortunately. We could tech up in the meantime. Let's do that. Since they just have some supply. Whilst these boys... Hmm. Yeah, they need to follow up. So, is with as well at 5 next turn? Yep. So maybe I'm gonna just force march them down here from up here, That's if that's possible. Raleigh here in striking distance of North Carolina. So are these mines. Two mines. Ah uh, yeah, I feel, and partially Columbia, I mean this is... To be honest, since there's so little resistance in the background, I feel like we can occupy the east coast easily if the enemy keeps on attacking the north here. These guys need to get back into supply. Then Mr. Banks here can go to Lynchburg. Maybe one of these divisions will support him. Down here. So, guys, uh, mm, seemed easy, but now have a look. We control the entire railroad from basically here on the eastern part of the Appalachians down to the Tennessee River up to Virginia. So, uh, yeah, this is amazing. Doesn't make such a huge of a difference right now from the strategic or the gameplay perspective for us right now, but imagine what kind of a good connection this is. And um, basically, we have access to the coal mines of Western Virginia here in Shenandoah. I don't know if it's just coal, but uh, I guess here Virginia, Appalachians. Also down here in the um, Tennessee. Uh, don't, don't want to make a mistake. This seems to be tennis. No, ten Kentucky, Tennessee. Um, probably it's also Virginia, actually. Uh, anyways, you know what I'm talking about. The resources here, probably for the monta montane industry, probably quite important. For the American uh, US uh, yeah, economy or hard or not, not plantation economy in 1863. So, yeah, I kind of took the most relevant parts of the country yet. Which is very nice. Okay, and now we're coming to the main and uh, most exciting part, of course, which people might have been waiting for already. Question is, can we take Richmond this turn? Let's have a look. Who's going to be attached to this wonderful Garibaldi? Um, definitely not these boys. We need, we need the best troops under him. Hey, looking good. So I'm going to start off by taking out this poor ambushed core, the second core that went freshly into battle trying to save their capital and got blown down by our first core. Going to take simply out with this brigade. Simply, yeah. And while not doing it. But we take them out with this gunch boat. Marvelous. <laughs> the enemy must have been happy for a second, but of course we destroy it. That's how we act. Terrible, yeah. Alright, um, let's get then some... Let's get going. How are we gonna do that? I'm gonna definitely move these boys here, this second core with the scout up, so we get the scouting in exactly perfect, so we don't run into ambushes ourselves. Yeah, we're gonna get... I, I'm... I'm I'm, uh, I was talking about 3-4 turns, but it seems like we're gonna get it directly. Just keeping up the pressure. Definitely gonna have the shot here. On Richmond and de entrenching them, hitting them harder. And there, uh, here we go. Boom! And yeah, we can take it this time. We can. Question is just how we're gonna do it. Since taking Beauregard is also quite tempting. So that's a good thing. The good news at the moment, we can take Beauregard. 
Over here, I would like to do actually the shuffle to bring um, Hancock into Tapahanok so we can upgrade the double day division. Since it's quite far, I'm gonna move in these boys here. Let's do it. Oh, that's heavy. Oh no! What? I can't move in anymore. Okay, but so we have to take it with the car. Which is not, not too big of a deal. And third course taking out Beauregard to kind of complete the success over here. And now we could shuffle in actually the core, which is probably a good idea. So I'm actually going to attack the core over here once. So um, it's not that strong anymore. Shuffle them in. Yeah, we can't attack anymore, but this should be an absolutely acceptable situation. The enemy's chances to retaliate are pretty low, I would say. Mm -hmm. We can bring the marines in to attack even further. Probably the, the biggest downside from this ironclad marching up into our so-called trap, if you want so, is that we wanted to start um, start bringing the marines out, right? I mean, we can still do it, to be honest. Bring just the marines here. I, I, they quite, I just wonder in which hex field they go first. Is it this one or this one? Because I would love to bring them into the harbor, of course. These guys here are, uh, are ready. Uh, but we didn't celebrate happily enough. We did take Richmond. Oh my god, the enemy the secession is about to be crushed soon. Slaveholders are getting back into her. <laughs> yeah, let's run all the propaganda we can. How's the supply situation over here? Pretty neat. Mm-hmm. Okay, next question is... Shall we attack them already over here? But I kind of even feel almost like it. Let's risk it. We have the shorter way home. That's the main advantage here. Let's block them off. These guys go on long-range amphibious transports. And they're kind of trapped in here. Yeah, that's the good thing. I don't know if they shouldn't be able to see our gunship, so maybe she runs up into the other direction. Here, these guys, I'm gonna just like reinforce. Yeah, I'm quite. And we can still. Okay, let's do it here as well. Long range amphibious. Perfect, I wanted them here. So in this case, I can. Go and protect them with this gunboat also on top. They have both marines. I'm kind of planning, despite our success here, just maybe land in Norfolk or um, Elizabeth City. Or even Wilmington down here as something to increase the pressure. Alright. Good stuff, good stuff. We saw that um, there was a monitor we were fighting over here. One of the enemy's ships. And it, it must have retreated down here. So for this reason... Here we are. Oh, must have. Was it a 10? Or is that another one? Wow. I feel like it. Yeah, there's the other one. Okay, good to know, but still another monitor, so we got them. The harbor is unfortunately. Hmm. Our monitor is not strong enough to reach it. Oh, 
but I'll take them down to reinforce. Uh, so we've got the enemy force, uh, naval force split up, two monitors down here. Slowly getting control of them again. Yeah, now I can also move, yeah, exactly, now I can move my frigates in also a little bit closer since we know where the enemy is and the enemy is kind of, yeah, controlled already. Here I wanted to go back into this position, right, where I can raid these both lines. The southern one is open now since this one has distracted us. But yeah, we've. this is actually great, now we know both monitors pretty hurt hard, hurt hard and damaged pretty well, uh, hard uh, yeah thanks for the hardness of this <laughs> explanation um we've got the other ironclad isolated up here and i think there was were two ironclads right at some point uh, did we destroy it already i'm not 100 sure um no there was one ironclad but three monitors we destroyed one monitor so far holy moly 13 gun nodes we lost so far but yeah also hitting oh my god the enemy must have built also so many river boats um pretty hard maybe intense approach by the enemy uh, in probably good that i invested at least a bit in the technology and also in some ships in the aftermath but yeah this is just insane this is just insane eight hqs that the enemy lost over time i mean next to all the other losses this is explains heavily the, the difference in our even remember destroying so much stuff on the field but yeah it's also quite late in the the game is progressing a lot so intense stuff sure and this might be the reason why <laughs> this 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 losses ratio is probably the reason that we are running into these eastern parts very easily and that's probably the reason why there might be our victory pretty soon um let's see how the national Spirit is going to be affected, fighting spirit by taking Richmond, probably pretty hard. I would expect at least 20%. Um, and then, yeah, with a lot of other fighting spirit objectives in reach, this should be maybe fast. Uh, we shall see how this goes. Nevertheless, let's not take it too easy. We've ca we can invest in some researches. Got 250 left to invest, so... Okay, let's give 150 in Field Telegraph that we're also maxing on this one. Leaving us with 100 more to invest. I mean, this is in the end, I guess, just also more cosmetic or... Hey, cosmetic sounds so hard, but you know what I mean. To be honest, since and it is cosmetic, that's why we're going to also invest in fort modernization. You never know when the French are coming. Maybe we'll need some coastal forts and, and so forth. So <laughs> this is our answer here. Then we're definitely going to get out our lovely... This Thames with Scout our already hurt divisions. Leaving us with 390 over here and... What else? Let's get a calf division out for more reconnaissance and so forth. And that's it for this turn. This is our uh, reinforcements incoming, so it doesn't stop so quickly. The enemy, uh, yeah, I, I think there won't be a lot of pauses anymore. So yeah, let's just keep on rolling and uh, try to finish this horrible war as soon as possible. So I can, we can go to next project, <laughs> to the next war. Animals, uh, anyways, uh, let me know what you think. Um, yeah, tips, what I think not very necessary. Maybe I, your interpretation and so forth would be highly interesting. But please don't don't uh, flame too much on the enemy. The enemy is also still new and I think still improved to the last, last game. So, But also I must have improved, which is quite to ex expect it when you play the same scenario the second time. Yeah, let me know what you think, um, and if you haven't yet, it would be simply fantastic if you leave me a like and subscription to keep yeah, my channel growing and support me in my projects. And before I say goodbye to you, let's have a quick look what happens. Yeah, the Fighting Spirit falls due to the loss of Richmond. Can we see it immediately? Uh, we celebrate on the capture of Richmond. 
There's nothing else. Confirming moves government to Montgomery. Oh my god, this is maybe not the best <laughs> idea to move stuff to. And yeah, before I say goodbye, there's apparently another event with uh, Garibaldi. I was wondering where he thinks, what is happening with him. General Garibaldi's support for our war effort has prompted the Brazilian government to organize a brigade of volunteers to join the rebel armies in the south. This represents a blatant act of intervention in our internal affairs by Emperor Pedro II and his government, which we have previously announced would be grounds for a declaration of war. We must now decide if we will follow through on this threat. The War Department has determined that a war with Brazil would require 150, 150 MPPs each turn until the Southern Rebellion is defeated, and the war is sure to spark outrage from merchants engaged in trade with South America, reducing our fighting spirit by 4,000 points. An immediate declaration of war will also allow us to intercept the Brazilian volunteer unit before it reaches our shores, ensuring it cannot join the rebel army. If we do not declare war in Brazil, our diplomatic policy will be compromised, increasing French and Spanish mobilization by 20 to 30 percent. Would you like to declare war in Brazil? And uh, uh, this is new to me, absolutely. This uh, event, never seen it before. Very nice, like it. I'm in general a big fan of these events in Strategic Command. A declaration of war against Brazil is the only way to ensure that European mobilization does not increase further as a direct result of the Confederate decision to invite Brazilian volunteers to join the army. And yeah, we will declare war on Brazil since, um, I mean, the, the French is now at 30%, uh, pushing them up another 30% is something absolutely try to avoid and they don't get, this. yeah, 4,000 uh, fighting spirit, no problem, we just got tons of them by capture in Richmond. Plus the 150 MPPs won't hurt us too much at this point anymore. So yes, war with Brazil. Union merchants denounce the... What? Denounce? It drops. Um, Salt Lake City. Okay, okay, okay. But did I misread the event right now? I'm not 100% sure. Maybe you can check and <laughs> go into, or I will check even in the video description, uh, in the video and check what the event was saying. But I just read, I clicked yes. Would I like to declare war in Brazil? And it says merchants denounce the war. Ah, this is the thousand, ah, this is the 1500 MPPs. Of course, of course. 1500, 150, I mean. Yeah, sometimes these yes-no decisions uh, make it a little bit... Conf they confuse me, at least. Kentucky unrests. Expert blockades. Regular stuff going on. And yeah, okay. We intercept the Brazilian Volunteer Brigade. I mean, the one brigade wouldn't have made a big difference. Cavalry level 2, very nice. Heavy mortars level 1. Yes, we can mortar them up. Um, leadership also very nice. This grants us more control, better generals, and so forth. Bringing Grant to eight. Leadership two. Yep, there you go. Eight immediately. That's it. War with Brazil. But um, it, we, we took Richmond. So, probably the most uh, successful turn of the game so far, even though it is not so tense anymore. Once again, thank you for watching. See you next time in the next episode. And yeah, see you next time. Bye. Your strategy wolf.